Okay, so a number of people have had a concern or an issue when CIS where they call up the an offender and get all the right data in the photo, but then in subsequent offenders that they uh, search for, they get new data, but the photo for the first offender uh, remains in the same place. So for instance, if we were to search for, let's see, what do we have? There's the photo, you get all your information. Here's this uh, Leslie Gardner's photo right there. If I were to search for another offender, I would get new information here and here, but the photo would rem remain the same. That's not a problem with CIS, it's a problem with Internet Explorer, and it's super easy to fix, and you can do it all by yourself, and I'll show you how. If you go back over to Internet Explorer and go to Tools, go down to Internet Options, Right down here in Browsing History, click the Settings button. Uh, and when the photo problem happens, you'll the radio button will be right there. You want to change it to right here every time I visit the web page. Put that radio button right there. You might also get a pop-up message when that uh, when you click on uh, uh, when you click on this button here. You might get a pop-up message that asks you if you want to increase the cache disk space size to 1024, go ahead and hit yes, that's fine, uh, and that'll change to 1024 there. Make sure that radio button is there. Click this, click this, uh, go back to CIS, search for your new, your new offender, and you should get new information here and a new photo here, no problem. Uh, if that doesn't work, you might have to close out of Internet Explorer, sign, log out of CIS, um, shut down Internet Explorer, restart Internet Explorer, sign back into CIS, and you'll definitely be good to go. Uh, that doesn't mean you have to restart your machine, just Internet Explorer. Um, if that doesn't work and you still have that problem or you have a slightly different problem, uh, let me show you how to submit a help desk ticket. If you go back over here to eDoc, right down here is Computer Support. Click on Computer Support you want to go right here to submit a ticket. You can click that right there. You'll want to sign in here with your Windows username and password, so the same username and password you use to start your computer in the morning. Oops, what's going on there? There we go. Now your help desk ticket is going to look quite a bit different than mine because there, this is what yours will look like. Now, you may, if this is your first time doing this, you won't see this request tab here. And the reason is, is you need to go over here and click this profile tab there. Click that profile tab, give us some information here about how to get a hold of you, your phone number. Here, I'll go ahead and add my phone number in there. Give us your phone number there. Your, uh, your email address should already come populated. This one's the most important one. So choose where you normally are stationed. So wherever it is that you are normally stationed, click that one. And once you click Save, you'll come back over here. And now all of a sudden you'll have that Request tab over there. Click Request. Uh, your problem is in CIS. So click that one fill out as many of these fields as you know. This one is especially important, the state tag number of your computer. That's the blue sticker that's on your computer. Usually they start with 36, but sometimes 35 or 37. Um, offender number there. The server name, if you go back over to, I think we still have CIS open. If you go back over here to CIS, you can get your server name. Oh, right there, CISP01, so that's the one that you would add in over here, you put a little checkbox right there, a little radio button right there, uh, fill out as much stuff as you can in there, how to get a hold of you, especially is what hours you work and where in the building you work, what have you, uh, and click save. That submits your help desk ticket for you and that tells us how to get a hold of you and, and lets us get a hold of you and fix your problem for you.